A week of wrath has descended on Beirut where bank branches have had their windows smashed as protesters destroyed their aids and broke the security cameras. The Central Bank of Lebanon has been targeted with protesters and security forces clashing outside of it. Beirut's most bustling commercial boulevards, Hammer Street, also packed with theaters and restaurants, was deserted late Tuesday safe for protesters and security forces, says the Associated Press. Local TV stations carried the pitched street battles live, including late-night arrests of at least half a dozen protesters. Security forces injured a Reuters video journalist who was treated in hospital and released. Lebanese broadcasters Labama Jadid and MTV said security forces injured a cameraman for each of them as well, says Reuters. A financial crisis has engulfed Lebanon for months with banks imposing informal restrictions on withdrawals and transfers outside of the country. The crisis was met with peaceful protests, but anger has now seemingly reached new levels as Lebanese people become frustrated with the political process. The country is without a mandated prime minister since October, with a union official blaming the political class for the outpouring of anger on Tuesday and Wednesday. Some 40 protests have been injured and a likewise number of security forces as the latter threw tear gas while the former responded with rocks and fireworks in street battles. The Lebanese pound has collapsed, down 60% in the past two weeks in informal markets, while formally it is pegged to the dollar. Some people don't have food on their table, said Samer Al-Khari, a 29-year-old protester. Some are claiming students are joining. Rabi Al-Zain, an activist protesting in Jal El-Dib, north of Beirut, said, Today we add the students to the revolution, those who will handle the country when the current rulers will go to the dustbin of history. What happened? The government of Lebanon borrowed dollars from banks, with such dollars mostly deposited by Lebanese people. They borrowed and borrowed to the point there was nothing left to borrow, with debt spiraling out of hand. So they turned to Lebanese people and made them aware the government had fiddled accounts and had spent too much and now there was no money left. They asked them to pay up through numerous taxes, including on WhatsApp messages. The response they got was the entire Lebanon on the streets. The Prime Minister said, F this, I'm up. While the people danced hand in hand as they raised the fist of revolution. Hezbollah moves in at this point, sending in its own protesters, and to pay for it they turn to Iran. Iran obliges, giving them a lot of money, but Iran barely had any for itself. So Iran turns to its own people and basically says you pay for this. What they told the people however was they were removing fuel subsidies to give more money to the poor. Iranians rose up, knowing well what was going on, and they burned a bank in the biggest protest since the theocratic revolution came to power. The Iranian people were gunned down by their own government during a week of no internet. In Iraq protests had been going on for weeks with the government there unable to calm them despite gunning down many many of its own people. Then we have the New Year interlude that begins 2020 with a very bizarre week of Trump v. Comedy which conveniently distract. You can read full post on Cryptofans. News, link available in text below.